kid of Ayar aspired to bring urban civilization to the villages. As a sign of that desire, for some time he had started calling his wife by name in front of four people and talking to her unabashedly. His face lit up with a smile as he remembered his wife's plight regarding the Bihar earthquake and Lalita's visit to the post office. Saresu. If there is an earthquake in Bihar, what has come to us in this place? Don't do it in vain. He said that. What is this talk? How long will it take for an earthquake to reach here from Bihar? All that will come to nothing, 1500 miles between our town and Bihar, you know? Don't bother. Yes. I care in vain. You. At this point Sima Chuyar began to mediate. Oi. Have you ever heard that the mother's mind is crazy? That's what a mother is worried about, it's a shame for us idiots. Said. Yes, yes. No one in the world got a girl. She got it miraculously. Like the story of a scorpion felled a bee tree, tied a rope to a tamarind tree, she says that if there is an earthquake in Bihar, we should be scared to death of it. That is why she says that we need female education. Again Sima Chuyar interrupted, Hey! Shall we have a donkey game over the midday meal? Said. Let's talk, let's eat here, oh! Said Kitavayar. No. Then in our house. Said Sima Chuyar and left. Kitavayar went to take a bath under the Kala well. Saraswati Amal went to the door of the house and was anxiously watching the way that baby Lalita would escape the Bihar earthquake and reach her safely. Agrikaram Road turned and after a short distance there was a big road. Half a furlong walk along the road was the post office. Lalita ran and walked and reached the post office in five minutes. Before she went in, the runner, Thangavalu, had carried the parcel and placed it on the table in front of the postmaster. The four feet long and three feet wide table bore four thousand ink marks. The postmaster seemed to say that it was his custom to write by putting his pen on the table. Postman Balakrishnan looked at runner Thangavalu and asked, Why is it taking so long, father? Did you lie down and sleep somewhere on the way? He said. It's a question for you every day. You'll know it by running five miles jingu jingu. Thangavalu said. Hold still, fathers. Here comes the child of Kitawiyar. After saying that Banguru Naidu focused deeply on the notebook in his hand. With a gasp of breath as Lalita came running, she shouted, Posted Master. Just then the Posted Master looked up as if he knew her arrival and said, Oko. You child. Sit down. I'll break the post and tell. Said. You haven't broken the bandage yet? Sir. Bit and break not, drink and not break. Break quickly, sir. What mom is so urgent? Urgent, sir. I will have a letter from Bombay today. That's it? Hum. From Bombay? So urgent? I saw that maybe a letter was coming from Singapore. Singapore is very strange. Where is Bombay? Is your Bombay only strange? Where is Singapore? Our Singapore railway station will never find your Victoria Terminus. You know, child. We have an eight-story house in Bombay, sir. Hum. That's it? There's a 24-story house in Singapore. Where is the motor bus parked in Bombay? Where in Singapore is there a rickshaw with a floor? Where is the tar road in Bombay? Hum. Where did you put the rubber road in Singapore? Come on, come on, where are you in Bombay? Huh, where is Iyengar in Singapore? I can't compete with you. Get rid of the postage stamp, sir. Are we really going to break up? Indeed, come quickly, sir. You are very blessed, sir. Here I am broken, child. Said the postmaster taking apart the bundle of mail and looking at the addresses of the mails one by one. Aksha. Here it is, baby, the letter from Bombay. But the address is wrong. Isn't your father's name? Give it here, sir, let's see. 
This is for our father, and our uncle wrote it. Look again, sir. I must have the letter. Ah. Here's one, this one's for daddy too. Give it here. Yes, I'll give this too to father. See if I have any letter, sir. Lalita said in a disappointed voice. After looking through all the mail, the postmaster looked at the last letter under it and said, Aha! Here's your mail. Go sit under it all. After saying that, he took it. Lalita eagerly took the letter and rushed to the door. She broke open the envelope at the door of the post office and took out the letter inside. The letter read as follows Aunt Sita wrote with love to my dear dear friend Lalita. You must have received the letter I wrote last Sunday. I was very happy while writing it. I wrote four pages line by line. When I was writing, mother came and looked and said, Sita. What decency is there to write such a long letter, she asked. Mother. After writing four pages, the Samasara is still not finished. I am going to write next week as a sequel. Mother gave me a kiss on the cheek and said, My dear. May you and Lalita be friends like this for the rest of your life, she said. Then I was very surprised to see tears in my mother's eyes. What is this, mother? Why are you shedding tears? I also asked sadly. Nothing Siddha. I have no friends in this world. She said, I am happy that at least you have a good friend, nothing else. How is that mother? Will anyone shed tears of joy? I asked again. You read so many story books, Siddha. Have you ever heard of tears of joy, she said. Are you so happy that Lalita and I are friends? I asked with surprise. Yes, Siddha. Who saw it? If I had a headache in the morning, who else would you help me with? Lalita. What do I write above? The day after I wrote the last letter, my mother went to bed. We remained idle, believing what my mother said, a normal sore throat will go away in two days. On the third day, dad got suspicious and brought the doctor. The doctor said typhoid suram this mother has become very thin due to lack of nutrition. Have you been ignoring me for so long? When the doctor asked my father, I was told short. I remembered that my mother was often fasting and starving and my father did not pay any attention to it. Lalita. What is the use of writing all that now? Mother is very sick. With God's grace she will survive. That's what the doctor was saying to dad. God's grace, Lalita. Or will God leave me an orphan and take my mother to him? Father has written a letter to uncle. Immediately, tell them to leave. If uncle comes, maybe mother will survive. I don't know if I will write you a letter next week or not, I will always remember you whether I write a letter or not. Your best friend, Siddha. Lalita's heart melted when she read the above letter while standing at the post office. Tears welled up in her eyes and Vimy started to cry. A loud noise was heard inside the post office. Postmaster Banguru Naidu, Postman Balakrishnan and runner Thangavelu ran out to see. What mom? What? They asked worriedly. Looking at the letter he was holding in his hand, he said, Child. Is there any mourning in the letter? They said. Yes, my aunt in Bombay is sick said Lalita. Why should mother cry over this? Isn't it sick to so many people in the world? said the posted master. Then, Balakrishna. Take this child to Kitavayar's house and leave him. said. Come on, sir. Come on, mother. Balakrishnan left saying that. 